Get ready Nigerians as NLC might commence strike this week. Let me explain. Monday 10th of June we completed exactly one week that NLC gave the federal government to discuss that thing the federal government promised they will add on the 60k. Now the federal government has finally added something on that 60,000 naira. Guess what they added? They added 2,000 naira. So the federal government has come to the conclusion that they will pay 62,000 naira as minimum wage. Don't also forget that the 36 state governors said that that 60,000 naira is too much for them and the federal government is adding 2,000 naira on that 60,000 naira. Let's see if the 36 state governors will oppose this again. So the NLC is saying that they will not accept that 62,000 naira because they'll be asking for 490,000 naira. So the NLC has come down with their request or their demand now. They are saying that instead of 490,000 naira, they are now requesting for 450,000 naira. So they remove 40,000 naira for initial thing they'll be asking the federal government to pay. So Nigerians brace up because it's about to be a long week as the federal government and NLC have not come to any agreement yet. Remember the agreement they signed before was to realize the strike that the federal government promised that they will add something on top of that 60,000 naira which they promised before. The thing they added right now is 2,000 naira and the NLC is saying that that 2,000 naira is too much. In fact, they've reduced their request from 490,000 naira to 450,000 naira. Now, let me tell you something that you need to know about the government that is adding 2,000 naira on top 60,000 naira minimum wage. Remember, this same government used 19 billion naira to subsidize Hajj image. Don't also forget that they use 4 billion naira to buy a car for the president. They use 2 billion naira to buy a car for the vice president. Don't also forget that they use 58 billion naira to buy SUV for the national assembly members. Don't also forget that it was also alleged they used 5 billion naira to buy presidential yachts. And when it came to student loan, they budgeted 5 billion naira. Well, the student loan, we don't have much update about it for now. And remember, it was also alleged they gave each national assembly member 500 million naira. It was also alleged that they part the budget with 3 trillion naira. Alleged anyway. And don't also forget that they used 21 billion naira to complete the vice president's residence. And recently, they increased the judiciary salary by 300%. And when it comes to minimum wage, the federal government is giving 62,000 naira as minimum wage with the whole inflation in Nigeria right now. As all this is going on, the popular reverend father, Father Mbaka, is saying that if the government is so confident in this 62,000 naira minimum wage, can the governors and the House of Assemblies be receiving minimum wage too? If we decide to give labor people 60,000 naira or, or 62,000 naira, why not generalize it to House Assembly members, to Senatorial members, to uh, House Arrest members, to our governors? All of them are civil servants. Are they not? So is if all of them are civil servants, why are these people slaves? Have they come to serve who? Because we, are, we cannot imagine why somebody can be amassing billions and billions and billions, sitting allowance, newspaper allowance, wardrobe allowances, vehicle allowances. So in conclusion of this video, please make sure you charge your power bank, charge all your device because it's going to be a long week. At least maybe if you see my updates. But before then, remember to enjoy your weekend. Thank you.